What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another video with me, Alex. If you're new to the channel, please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, as we're out here in the lovely weather. It's a Sunday, I'm enjoying myself, and as we can see, we're in the dem boat, getting the boat ready, so that hopefully this week the boat will be able to get in the water go out on the beautiful ocean and explore some new places that we probably haven't been before. But the boat has been docked. <clears throat> There's been so much ice in the boat that we basically have spent four to five days preparing it to get it to this stage that it's at now. Now that hopefully we will get the sun and the summer to return back to Nuuk. But I see one major problem here it is that the water is inside the boat and that should definitely change so i brought some remedies got like a bucket so we can empty the water from inside of the boat to outside of it and then after that use the generator and like a heat gun to like let me show you ah. Ah, yeah, okay, I can't. Well, <clears throat> this whole back compartment down here is completely frozen in ice. There's been ice all over inside behind those white cabinets. We need to get the ice out so that because the battery is located down here and those electrical cords have to be connected to the battery in order for the engine to start up and stuff. So. We need to remove all that ice that's down there. And probably also remove the water inside the boat. There is quite a lot of water. You already know, it's the dim boat. All right, looks like I have finished taking out some of all the water. And if I may just highlight some of the things that we have done while it's been docked. Uh, one of the things is putting this like keel guard underneath it. Basically gluing it towards the the glass fiber and then it has like it's like this rubber thing not a hundred percent straight but it's there and then I added some silicone around it so hopefully it will last a little longer and it's basically to prevent you know getting your I guess it's called keeled but this keel kind of getting jacked up when you go towards rocks and you hit land of any sort we also fixed some like holes some of the glass fiber was exposed so we added some gel coat to it fixed this little bad boy there was a little hole going in and then the water would get in to one of the front but now it's time for this what else did we do yeah we'll probably also try to change some of the anodes <clears throat> We've already changed three or four. Yeah, I think we changed three. So now it's the fourth one that I just have to localize and put it in, basically to prevent the whole engine block from getting corroded with all the salt water. And if you haven't already, don't forget to remove your propeller whenever you have it docked. Unlike these risk takers over here, being out here in a remote area where there's not a whole lot of people around, this is prime territory for people to go and steal your propeller. And a propeller is roughly 400, 500 US dollars, so it's not cheap. So you might as well take it off when you have it docked. There it is, the dim boat. And to top it all off, you can see this water has a weird color and that's because we made a hole in like some engine oil container back there so now it's water and oil nice nice yeah it's not really working 
working. <coughs> so yeah, I'm definitely not gonna be able to move any kind of ice from this area. So now, the smart person I am, I'm taking a black cloth just to try to cover this area so that the sun hopefully will heat it up a little bit more. <laughs> yeah, one of the disadvantages of having a white boat, which is almost every other boat is white. Why, why are boats white? Hmm? Let me know in the comments. Okay, so what we have been changing before are these ones. There's one in there, there, and we also changed that one. But then it turns out that these two might also be anodes for the engine. But I only have one, so I think I'm gonna focus on this one and see if we can get it off and see what is inside. The other ones here were looking pretty nasty, so long time overdue that they had to be changed. The engine has roughly 370 or 80 engine hours on it, so it's kind of new. It's still good. Still looks good. And then we also changed four spark plugs. Yeah, it was pretty bad. Pretty bad, as expected. <clears throat> you see? This. Basically the anode is kind of gone. I tore up a little bit in the gasket, but you would probably need to buy some new ones, but this is pretty bad. And so this engine must have five. Here, you see this bad boy? That ain't looking good, huh? No, oh, no, 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 no. But now I just have to stick my finger in and take some of this shit out. I might as well also look at this one because this looks pretty nasty. I'm just trying to get to the bolt. There should be a bolt in there. There it is. I think you can see the bolt coming to live here. Okay, now to see the difference is this is an anode, this is a used anode, it's pretty banged up, this bad boy, and you should usually change them when there's about, when, when about half to two-thirds of the anode has disappeared. You can see this one is pretty gone. Now like the top one, actually doesn't look too bad. I think I want to just try to scrape this one off and then put it back in. There's clean out the anode hole and that saves me another anode. Yoohoo! 15 bucks saved. Nice. And now since we can't really do that much more, I mean all the ice in the compartment can't really do anything other than letting the sun and the heat kind of melt it which will probably take a couple days but it's good that the next week is gonna be warmer but the thing I can do is take some sandpaper and I did the gel coat thing and it's not very like even so I have to sand it down finely with some P180 and P240 to make it smooth again so we can go 37 knots once we hit the water and running. I got this neck gator from Kokoda Komunia representing. Okay, okay, I'm gonna wrap the video up here now. I'm gonna head home. Didn't accomplish what I really wanted to accomplish today, but I mean, I'm just gonna hope for warmer weather and a lot of soft sun so that all the ice can melt. That's basically what I need to have done before the boat can get out on the water again. So if you haven't already, please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, 
see you in the next one. Okay, bye.